Okay, so we're going to look at the first law of thermodynamics using our FET simulation called gas properties. And what we want to do is monitor the change in energy or the change in internal energy of the gas. And we want to do that by looking at the temperature because we've seen that the internal energy can be calculated by going N times 3 over 2 K times T. So and internal energy and absolute temperature in Kelvin are directly related. So let's pump some gas into our chamber and see what happens. So we'll let it reach equilibrium here for a couple of seconds. But basically we can see that our initial temperature of our gas, which is measuring the average kinetic energy of all these molecules flying around in the chamber, is set at 300 Kelvin. Now in this sim we're able to add and remove heat so when I slide this little slider up to the add feature, basically it's like it turns on a Bunsen burner and heat is going to pour into our chamber. When I remove heat, you'll see little ice cubes and that's going to lower the temperature of the chamber. When I push on the wall on the left, I'm going to be doing work on the chamber. So I'm going to squeeze the gas and we're going to see what happens to the overall internal energy. So we're only worried about the work done on the gas and adding and removing heat and we're going to see how that affects the internal energy and come up with an equation. It's surprisingly simple. So let's start with our work. I'm going to squeeze the gas by pushing it to the right and all we want to do is watch the temperature. So I push it to the right and you can see right away that our temperature climbs. It went from 300 to 336 Kelvin. So doing work on the gas, making the volume smaller or squeezing the gas has caused more frequent collisions and the internal energy of that gas as indicated by the temperature has gone up. So those molecules are moving a little bit more rapidly as they're flying around in the chamber. Now similarly let's add some heat. Now remember the symbol for heat is Q in our equation. If I add heat to the gas as expected the temperature rises. If I remove heat by putting a like an ice bath around this chamber, we see the temperature drop. So it's a fairly simple relationship. The internal ener energy of the gas will simply be increased if the work is done, in other words if I squeeze the gas, and increased if we add heat. 